this? Looks good. Oh, unthankful statue. I don't think it is very good, actually. Anything down in here? Oh, shit. Don't go that way. Watch out for those rocks. Oh, fuck. Can't carry anymore. That's a long sword. I think it's worth a lot. Fell into a trap, too. Just throw away. Oh, it tells you the value. Here's 100, 150. 100, 100. Unidentified stuff. It looks like, like maybe this stuff will be for crafting. For fusion, they call it. Some clothes plus two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just throw this away. Throw away really cheap stuff. Slime fluid. I wanna keep the walnut bread so I eat it if, in case uh, Louis takes damage. This isn't very good. Throw that away in the statue. dropped right there, okay. It's an unknown item. Can't carry anymore. Uh, eat the walnut bread. 4 HP, perfect. Powerful anti-venom, 550 picks. Doing much better than I did in the demo. I, I got owned and I got, I didn't know what I was doing. And um, I, I had to like pretty much start from scratch. Yeah, I failed the dungeons. Is there something down here at the bottom? I'm not sure. What's this? Toupee? A chestnut. That's where the rocks were falling. Can't carry anymore. Quite fun, I like the dungeons. Alright, let's go back to the teleport. There'll be a few enemies in our way. Not too many though. Cleared most of them. Louis level 5 now too, which is nice. I guess he does more damage. You can check the status screen if I want. See what his attack is and everything. Probably be good to gear him out for dungeon runs. go see who our first boss is I guess this is fifth floor so here we go we get a little cutscene with treasure box big loot box looks giant what's he doing this is did I did I do it I did didn't I I did it I've cleared the hall of trials oh sweet mystery of life now you'll give me money way to go Louis Reseteer or reset and tear. This is all thanks to you guys. This is all well and good, but there is a treasure chest just ahead. 
it behooves us to investigate thoroughly here you really do like going for the money don't you what I do not spout such foolishness there is no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed hey hey now I love me some treasure too don't worry tear I feel you on this I feel you tear Really, you two completely misunderstand me. <laughs> it's gonna be a boss or something. It must be, inside. Wonder if he'll drop anything good, though. Can I heal up? Egg toast and shit. An orange? Costs 700, though. A chestnut. Uh, well, the well not nut. Uh, with the spiky shell called a land urchin by some is quite painful when stepped on Yeah, Louis level 5 now 1 adventure 21 attack now 33 defense 5 magic 8 magic defense Okay Let's See what's inside so the contents of the chest empty Ha give me just a second here a letter postcard. Hey, Wow, cards. Pokemon cards. So this is an Adventurer Guild card. Uh, here is set. Take one, like we promised. Huh? Oh yeah, okay. Well, you did promise to give us your card eventually. We are not so crass as to demand your very first card. You should really think about who you want to give your first no, I want this. Reset, I beg you, please take my very first card. I'd love to. Thanks, Louis. Awesome. I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Murda. Really now, young people. 3D cutscene. And there's a door. Hey, Tyr, what's this thing that just showed up? Ah, yes, you've never seen a door in your life, Reset. You have no doors on your home. People just walk in and out. That is commonly referred to as Goho. Um, what am I? A door of return, I mean. If you enter that door, you can return to town in an instant. This one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon. They are often encountered during norm normal exploration, too. I believe they usually appear roughly every five levels or so. But wait, if we take this back to town when we're halfway in, don't we have to start all the way at the beginning again? Not at all. You can always head back to the floor that had a door on it. In fact, if you do not use a door, you do have to restart. So if we find a door, we should always use it? Almost always. If we need to rest or unload, then we should use the door. Remember though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving ends the current contract with our companion. And we would have to rehire him or choose a new one. If there's something specific in a dungeon that you desire, you can simply ignore the doors and press onward. Alrighty then. I think we have to go home now, though. Quite so. Oh, just to be sure in the future, please try to avoid referring to this as going home. Yes? Oh, okay. Not really my home. Yeah, it's your home now, Tyr. Okay. So I guess that's it. This room it, uh, looks empty. The only loot we got were the cards. Smack that door and go through. Return to town. Yes, cleared. 21 out of 20 items in our bag somehow. Got a lot of loot. And what, did they get identified? Everything? Slime fluid, a whole bunch of it? I guess, I don't know. So it took up two time uh, periods of the day. You can go to the pub at night. It looks like nobody's here. Oh, no one's there. Can't do anything. Let's go back home. Good night. Good night. I guess it takes one time to uh, to go out into town and then one uh, turn to go back to your house or to the item shop. So daily profits, sold nothing, bought nothing, but uh, I thought I did buy some stuff. Alright, whatever. 
profits, negative 1365, score difference, 525, plus 314, exceeded expectations. Found a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff. I've never done that well before in the game, so that was pretty cool. Day four. I'm gonna take a break and like, we're gonna come back and sell all this stuff that I found in the first dungeon run, which was pretty fun to do. Or um, go check out the town and maybe sell stuff to merchants or check the guild hall out. I'm not sure. Probably sell everything. So I'll be back in a bit. Take a little break. <laughs>